Hey guys, it's Dustin here um, out in the snow. I'm about to go source. So um, over the last few days, I've been pretty busy with uh, purchasing the new home. Um, also, of course, editing video, getting stuff shipped out during Q4, uh, fighting claims, fighting um, item not received issues or, and dealing with it and also dealing with like customer service uh, issues, um, a negative feedback issue, all this stuff's going to be in a future video where I kind of touch base on that. But for right now, um, I haven't taken sourcing as seriously this week as I wanted to. Um, it's always important to have a fresh funnel of new stuff coming in, even if you have a death pile, because, uh, you know, it's good to get some of that exciting stuff up on the store that gets traffic and impressions and uh, ultimately leads to sales. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go out, hit some thrift stores, uh, hit some pawn shops and see what we can find. Uh, let's do it. All right, guys, so just got out the pawn shop. I had a little bit of a wait in there. Um, one guy let me jump in front because I was just uh, buying some games and not doing anything too crazy. Um, so let's go through what I picked up here. Um, so I've got, some of these are a little bit scratchy. So I'm looking at getting a refurb machine eventually, but let's just get on with it. Two bucks on NBA Street Volume 2 for the PS2. That's a $25 game shipped. So that's a good pickup right there. I grabbed Tony Hawk's Underground for the PlayStation 2. I believe this is about 13 bucks shipped, uh, $12.99. So that's okay at $2. Um, I forget what's in here already. It's just a blank case. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Smackdown Shut Your Mouth is a disc only. Um, looking at probably about 12 bucks there. So pretty decent for $2. Um, Spider-Man, so he had this marked, it's the Game of the Year edition, he had this marked at $15, and we kind of went back and forth and settled at $12.50, which will make it just profitable enough to uh, dip my toe into it, <laughs> to actually take the risk there. Um, I mean, it's not much of a risk, it's Spider-Man, it's going to sell. If you buy a PS4 and you don't have the game, I mean, you're going to want to get it. Um, Guitar Hero Live right here. $34.99 is what I saw some comps pre-owned and I uh, got that bad boy there for $10 uh, so that's a that'll be a pretty good flip and then I asked if he had any cartridge based games or if he hey do you normally get it in he told me about it in 64 they just sold and I was like man but then um, he did find this one uh, Super Mario Brothers right there or is that super super mario world sorry it's even my favorite mario game and i'm getting it wrong a little rattle there but hopefully it uh you know gets in the system and works a bit of peeling to the label but at three dollars 
definitely can't go wrong with that. Uh, super happy. And uh, yeah, that's kind of my haul from the first stop of the day. It's a good start. I'm happy with it. Um, there was a guy right behind me in line that had a PS4 with a massive stack of games, and I wish I was the buyer for those. But that just means there's going to be more inventory for me to pick later. I'm going to head over to the thrift store that's right uh, down the road here in this here huge shopping plaza. So uh, let's go check it out, guys. All right, so continuing our picking here and sourcing, uh, checking out the games here, not really seeing too much or anything too appealing in the showcase. I find these Xbox component cables. This is for like the OG Xbox 360, the one that got the big red rain of depth issue. And they wanted $3 for the cables. They just unfortunately don't hold much value. So I ended up putting them back. Um... I think I even had that joystick, that little cheap Interact one as a kid. Uh, not much value there. I've uh, seen them around in the past. Uh, a little Dell mouse. However, this Les Paul, Paul, uh, Les Paul guitar, <laughs> it uh, it's missing the battery backing, but uh, they only want $1.50 for it because that tag color white is half off. So I decide I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. I mean, if I can get 40 to 50 uh, for it, it's uh, you know, it's a pretty cheap buy cost for something like that. Um, while I am selling through my Under Armour hoodies that I picked up a few uh, multiple videos back from a Goodwill run, it took a little while, so I don't think I'm looking for any more of those right now. Um, and then what I really like here is these are like $75 to $80 shoes um, right here. I threw a comp up on the screen. They only wanted 8 bucks for these like Nike wedge sneaker dunks. Uh, so definitely throwing those in the cart. Um, one of the uh, better scores so far today. I always like to take a uh, look at the hats. Um, I used to sell hats, like uh, uh, like tables of hats at the flea market way back in the day. So I see this lady bust out a cart full of boots and she puts one pair, I think, in the men's section here and they're Sorel and uh, they're waterproof boots. Now the comps for these are all over the place, but I think this pair is a uh, better condition than a lot of the other comps I see on eBay. I'm gonna say that these are gonna be 50 to $60 um, and they have $8 on them, so not terrible, and uh, definitely some room for profit on those. I continue to follow her, so I, I think they're Ithaca, it's uh, something like that, boots. Um, they're uh, Itasca, I guess, Ventilate women's boots. I've sold this exact pair, I picked it like. Um, a month ago and sold it recently for about 28 bucks. I'll make about 10 or 11 dollars on it with a four dollar buy cost. Um, and then I also see the brand new uh, whatchamacallit jacket there, um, Timberland, and I uh, decided to pick that up. It's a kid's jacket for three dollars. I'm gonna try and get 30 bucks out of it and stuff it in a priority mailer. Um, this Metallica VHS unfortunately didn't hit the ten dollar mark that I must be at to purchase those. Um, and this thunderstorm actually comps out at like 30 plus ship, but I would have had to inventory all the cards and just did not feel like it right then. Um, as you notice, I pulled some Ninja Turtle DVDs there, but those were not anything um, old. Um, so it wasn't old episodes or anything. Um, this cuts off here, but I do find these brawn trimmers while I'm checking out their trimmer heads. Be on the lookout for these guys. Um, easy, um, like 20, 25 bucks a piece. They're only paid 250. Found this pump kit. Um, it's going to be like 22 plus ship there at Goodwill. Only two finds at Goodwill. This lady kind of didn't want to distance and there wasn't much else to look at. So I just kind of bailed. Uh, grabbed this spring foam cake pan. I don't know how I'm going to do on it. 20 or so dollars. $3 buy cost. I don't really think I'm going to make a fortune. It probably shouldn't have picked it up. But I'll probably make about $5 profit when everything's said and done with shipping and fees. Uh, so still okay on a $2.99 buy uh, cost right there. All right, guys. So um, we've hit four places. Uh, probably not going to show footage on the Salvation Army. Struck out there. 
which is fine. I normally I find some really cool stuff there, but it's just how it is. It comes with uh, the business of uh, resale. You're not gonna hit every time, like I've said in the past though. It's really about having as many at-bats as you possibly can. Uh, for somebody that doesn't watch much sports, I sure know a lot of sports analogies uh, when it comes to sales. Uh, my last job was literally filled with them. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, driving uh, to stop number five, as I mentioned. Uh, gonna go hit up a pawn shop that I've had some pretty good luck with. The last time I went in there, I did strike out, but uh, all the other times, the three or four times before that I've been there, uh, have found good stuff for a fair price. Maybe sometimes have to negotiate a little bit for it to get within um, my buying range and whatnot. Uh, did stop at the house uh, super quick. Actually had Jessica, uh, my wife, she had her run me out a protein bar and a collagen drink that has like 18 grams of protein in it as well. Um, yeah, just not really a great replacement for our meal, but hey, whatever, um, it'll have to do for now. Uh, but it's important sometimes when you get into picking and you're spending hours and hours uh, doing so to make sure that you still get in some uh, decent nutrition. So let's go ahead and hit that pawn shop and see what we can find. All right, guys, so not a major haul from that pawn shop. Uh, ended up grabbing two different FIFA 19s sealed on the Xbox One. One's the Champions Edition, and the other's just the normal, I guess. They had them at like two bucks a piece. They were doing some kind of sale. Um, I got out there for like 161 for both of them. So that's pretty good. They're about $10 a piece on eBay right now in this in, uh, new condition, and these are both brand new sealed. So. It's something, um, I mean, you just gotta keep hitting uh, the pavement and seeing what you can find, so uh, not too bad. Oh, hey guys, I totally uh, blanked there in the parking lot of the pawn shop. So that was pretty much my day of picking, guys. Um, you know, I'm gonna go home, edit this video, do some work on eBay, and uh, get all that kind of stuff handled. Um, I appreciate you guys following along, do appreciate that. Hope you took something away from it, and uh, or at least we're entertained. <laughs> One of the two. So uh, yeah, with that, I'm gonna call it here. Um, again, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing for more resale and picking content. And also um, consider giving the video a like. Helps me out on the algorithm as well as turning on the bell notifications. Because if you subscribe, you still want to turn those on so you're really notified, I guess. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.